Hey everybody, this is Chris the Otaku here back with another unboxing and today I have my monthly manga haul as you can see from Barnes & Noble and before I get to the unboxing I wanted to show you this but I haven't shown it in my previous manga video because that's from the last time I picked it up. I know my previous video I just uploaded recently was my Tokyo Otaku mode haul but I wanted to show you guys this. This is my newest Nendoroid that I purchased. Well, I, I, I pre-ordered her in, I pre-ordered her in, I would say, March. And, you know, she finally came, she came in in July. <laughs> Sorry for the stutter. But this is uh, Kotori Itsuka from Data Live. And this is her in her spirit form. Um, I purchased this again from Tokyo to I purchased this as well from Tokyo Otaku Mode. And this is a this is a really cool Nendoroid. It has a lot of pieces, a lot of fun to uh, to set up. But I wanted to show you this. Um, I didn't do an unboxing video for this. It's just that like you know, as I keep saying before, my issues with uh, unboxings with Nendoroids aren't that great. So let's get to the unboxing as I slide Kotori side. Um, I picked up a decent amount of items for this haul. Um, there's one item that is not in this box and um, it's supposed to ship out. I mean it's already shipped out but I'm supposed to be getting it at least by tomorrow or two days from now or possibly the time I, well, the time I made this video it might not come till next Monday, but I probably will include it in the video. If not, you know, whatever. I'm gonna take the receipt out. And I have a lot of manga to show. Just take everything out. I have some, I mean, they're cool, I have really nice, awesome titles in this pickups. So like this one, I'm actually really, I haven't been excited for a manga pickups video in a while. So I'm really excited about it. I just slide everything away and take all the manga. So the first thing I will show, this is a uh, Gudere Soranagi Hara Volume 4. This is the final volume for the Soranagi Hara series. Again, this is by Suu Minazuki. If you don't know, Suu Minazuki is also the mangaka for Sora no Toshimono or Heaven's Lost Property. He's also written a manga called Judas that I heard is pretty popular. Here's the front with Sora. Here is the spine. And as I try to focus, Sora again. And here's the back. This is the, again, final volume in the Nakihara, Sora Nakihara series. Next volume we have right here. This is Black Butler. I believe this is volume 17. We have Prince Soma on the front, Prince Soma on the spine, and in the back. Then we have right here this. Actually, I'm sorry, that was 16. This is volume 17 on the front, and this is Edward. This is Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth's brother. Here's the front, spine, back. And here we have, this is Dead Men Wonderland volume 10 with Shiro. Here's the front, here's the spine, here's the back. I'm, this is honestly, this is towards the end of Dead Men Wonderland. I know there's only, I think three more volumes left, but it's getting really good, and I don't want to spoil it, but I do recommend if you've seen the anime, jump into the manga right away. It, it's worth, it's just worth the read. And here we have Citrus, Volume 3, with Yuzu and Mei. Here's the front, spine, back. This is a very good, a very good Yuri series, I do recommend it again as well. And this is Black Butler, Volume 18 with CL on the front, him on the spine, and on the back. And here we have High School DXD, Volume 6. Here's Rias and Zenobia, front, spine, and Azirina in the back. And here's another series that I've been speaking about before. This is Evergreen, Volume 2, with Nikki Awaya on the front. And this is also by uh, Yukio Takayama and Akira Kasibe. Uh, I know Takayama has also done work with Toradora, so 
that's also fun to, to know about. There's the spine. Here's the back with Hotaka Ushimatsu. I forgot his name and I forgot her name, so I don't really remember because it's been a while. And then here we have Dragon R Academy Volume 7 with Echo and Navi and Lancelot in the back, front, spine, and then Navi again as well. Um, Funimation just announced that they are releasing this series in November and it's going to get an English dub, so look up for that. Pre-order that as well. And here we have Tokyo Ghoul Volume 2 with Toka on the front, spine, back, and it shows a little character description of Toka. And Ken. I Volume 1 was amazing. It was truly amazing. So I'm really excited about this. And this is an, this last item is an interesting item. Um, this is from Kodansha Comics. Again, this is this is Attack on Titan. But this is the Attack on Titan Volume 16 Special Edition or Limited Edition. I was shocked that they actually made a limited edition because no other company that I know of, no manga company I know of in the United States, has made a limited edition for a specific volume. This is more common in Japan where they do is for a specific volume they'll make a limited edition like you either get like an OVA episode or a poster or postcards or whatever. This one comes with, um, this comes with, uh, uh, I'm sorry, this comes with a playing card set. And I know this one, this is, this cover is actually by Tony Moore. And Tony Moore actually worked on the Walking Dead comics. So here's the front, here's the spine, and here's the back. Um, I know also they are making a Attack on Titan Volume 17 Limited Edition that's coming out in December, and that is actually coming with a OVA episode, which I'm actually kind of curious because, you know, Funimation has the acquisition rights and, the, you know, the home rights to Attack on Titan, so I wonder if it's going to be dubbed or is it just going to be subbed only? So I thought that's pretty interesting. But, you know, let's continue with the unboxing. If you're interested in this, this is going to cost you around 15 bucks for the Limited Edition, or, you know, Special Edition. But if you want the standard one, like if you don't want the playing cards, like I was originally gonna buy um, the standard and the limited edition, but it was just, I, I just didn't, you know, the amount of manga I purchased, it's kind of expensive. But this is supposed to just come with, you know, a deck of playing cards and the manga itself. And as I slide the contents out, it might be. Now it's just the manga. Oh wow! Oh look at that, that's cool. It's a special it's a special type of dust jacket. See so it has this is the Attack on Titan volume, volume 16 with crystal lens, spine, and the back. That's really cool. It comes with a custom dust jacket made by Tony Moore himself. That's supposed to be Eren. And I do not I'm not spoiling this arc at all. And it says Attack on Titan Special Edition. And this shows the this shows the uh, Garrison Regiment or the Scout Regiment, and it shows the you know Wall Maria, Rosa, and Sheena. This is actually really cool. I didn't know about the dust jacket. <laughs> That's a cool thing. And then I will show the playing cards. Uh, I'm probably not going to show every single card, but this is just a cool again. This is just a cool little collector's item that Cardiant is doing. I think it's a cool idea. I think more companies should do like limited edition items for specific volumes you know because um yeah I think it's a cool idea because I know you can pick some up on online again this is a, this is a deck of 52 cards they give it as like the no game no life uh collector's edition where it has like a set of cards and is this artwork from the series Again, I'm not going to show every single one. These are like some of these are manga cover volumes. Like example, this is volume 15, Eren, um, Mikasa. This part of the wall, Titan. Again, Mikasa's. Again, I think I showed that. The colossal Titan. This Hanj. Levi. Ooh. Oh well. <laughs> this is a volume 13 cover. Oh well. Now it's shuffled, but uh, yeah, that's the that's what we would get for the volume 16 limited edition. 
Again, it's gonna cost you around $16, but to be honest, it's kind of it's it's worth it because you're getting really cool items for the set. I mean, so yeah, honestly, yeah, it's pretty cool. And again, the, and to in the end of end of this year, so around December when Volume 17 comes out, there will be an OVA episode given in the their limited in the, their limited edition. So I don't know. That's gonna be interesting because I wonder if Funimation has anything to do with it. Because um, I know with the OVA, it's only a DVD only release. So I wonder if Funimation has the acquisition rights to it, has a shared acquisition rights. But again, as I put everything away, this is everything for this unboxing. Um, this is pretty much all my unboxing videos for the month of August. I will be doing my my usual, again, my anime unboxing coming up in late September, where all my pre-orders come in, and also future manga pickups in the future. Again, if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I really do appreciate it. Um, if you haven't seen my figure unboxing video, please do check it out, because I did... It's really cool. I mean, I got a lot of awesome items, and I think you should check it out. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for everything. Again, like I said the second time, please, again, like, comment, subscribe for more videos like this one. Um, this was, again, keep repeating myself, my manga unboxing. And uh, thank you so much, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, just one more quick thing. I forgot to put this in the video. Um, I just got another package from Barnes & Noble. Um, as you can see, it's Nitsukoi uh, Volume 11 with Marika, Onodera, Fu, Chitoge, and Sugumi. Um, this was supposed to be in the big haul package, but for some reason it was shipped out separately. Um, this isn't supposed to come out until September. Like, like it's supposed to come out until next week. That's what's supposed to come out. I'm sorry, it's not supposed to come out until next week. But uh, I have it now. This is volume 11. And with Marika on the side, on the spine, if I can focus. And then here's the back. Um, I know if you do is if you ever, if you do read the Nisekoi series and if you, um, if you buy on Barnes & Noble online, you could get this series. You can get each manga volume at least two weeks, two and a half weeks, sometimes three weeks earlier before the initial release date. But that was just the one thing I wanted to add, so uh, see you later.